Hello everyone. Today we're going to be practicing uh, tone mixing. So that's where we're going to be mixing a hue or a color with black and white to create gray. And I want you to make a value scale out of tones. So to get our supplies ready, you'll need a placemat. You'll need a piece of paper. Please write your name in the corner along with your teacher code. And in the middle section here, this is where we're gonna work. So decide if you're gonna go from lightest to darkest this direction or in the opposite direction. Because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna work from left to right, uh, gradually getting darker and darker and darker. You'll need one of the trays that has a hue, any color is fine, and then some white and some black. To begin our tone value scale, you're first gonna create your tint. So I'm gonna take my white in to my blue to make a light blue. You can go as light as you want. So if I wanna go, you know, medium blue, that's fine. If you wanna go really, really light, that's also fine, it's up to you. Once you have your tint mixed up correctly, we're going to very, very, very slowly add the black. Black is really strong, like way, way stronger and more potent than the white is. So we have to be really careful and take baby steps. So you notice I'm trying to kind of wipe off some of that paint onto the edge of the tray. I'm gonna dip just a little bit and completely mix in that black. Now, if you can't see a lot of it, remember that's fine because you're starting light, but it's in there. And so I'm going to paint, you can paint circles, you can paint squares. And we're not drawing lines first, we're just kind of going with it as we work. Then I need a darker tone, so I'm going to grab more black, mix that in, and hope that there is a change between my first color and my second color. Okay, there's a little change, not a big one. Keep going, so grab more. Mix again, and always make sure that you're kind of scraping the sides here and mixing thoroughly. You want it to be one solid color, not a light blue, medium, dark blue, all in here because you didn't take the time to mix. Whoops, I spilled a little bit. Remember, it's just this is practice. I am looking at these to make sure that you can do this, but I'm not going to check your craftsmanship. So if you make a little mistake like that, don't worry about it. Grabbing more black as I go. Scraping the sides. Mixing thoroughly. And just continue working until you have your darkest value over here. When you run out of room, your value scale will be complete. You'll wash your brush and your palette off in the sink, making sure that you use your finger or your brush as the scrub tool. And when you come back, whether it's this time or next time, I do want you to name your tones. So thinking about if you walked into a paint store, what creative names could you use for your tones? Like maybe this one's going to be um, Sea Storm. And we kind of want them to be descriptive. You know, maybe this one's going to be Dusky. <laughs> So this is the part where you get to have fun and be creative and come up with a name for each of your tones. And I'm going to write tones in big letters at the top. All right, so have fun being creative and working on your tones.